boxer an opportunity to weigh more than once if they're close once if they're close once if they're close maximum weight for this fight was 120 pounds she came in at 100 minute 120.3 then she had to work that day to reduce reduce that which some which sometimes gets told a little bit on a fighter and as she enters into the ring you can see that she is here at exactly 100 120 pounds tonight having been made that weight and acknowledging the crowd as she goes into the middle. We don't know a whole lot about her except that she has a record of only one win and six losses. Well, I'm excited to see this fight. I've seen this fight. I've seen Beth. She is a firecracker. She can really throw the level. Well, she is from Boise, Idaho. She's very well known. We, we've done some work on her in the past. We've had a chance to see her work out. She actually gets a, actually gets a chance with Kelly Vennon, who we've seen here in the ring a time or two before. She also spars with Michelle Ould, who we saw for first fight of the night tonight. But as you can see, she does a lot of sparring with men as well. She works out hard. She is 22 years old. She stands five feet, two inches tall. So she gives up a full five inches to her opponent tonight, Carrie Hill. She came in at exactly 117 pounds. She, she does have a professional record that goes back a few years. You can see Kelly Van behind her coming in. Kelly's going to be in her corner for tonight. She has a record of two wins, one loss, one of those by a knockout. She stopped boxing for a couple of years, looking at some other th things and some other interests. She wants to make a return to the ring before this, but she had a shoulder injury. She tried to make another come back to the ring and during training re-injured that same shoulder. So it's taken quite some time to recover. She says she's ready to go for tonight. Her sparring partner, Kelly Vanna, as you can see right ne next to her, as she comes into the arena tonight, is going to be in her corner. And she is also a fitness trainer at Gold's Gym. I think when it comes to the cardio, there's no question that Beth is going to have the stamina for tonight. I agree. I, I, I'm expecting a really, really good fight. I don't know too much about Beth's opponent. But every time I've seen Beth fight here, it's been very exciting, and she always gets the crowd on their feet. She also told me that in her sparring, she says that Kelly actually hits a little bit harder than anybody that she has ever faced, which is interesting because Kelly Vanden that we have seen fight before has not had any successes. She has, I think, decided to go to the training corner right. rather than to continue fighting. So Kelly has pretty much wrapped it up. You can see Beth as she enters into the ring. She's very focused. She's very energetic, and anybody who's ever worked out with her at Gold's Gym will tell you that she doesn't let down. All right, we are ready for the announcement. Let's go to ring announcer John Holtzman. This fourth bound scheduled for four, four, four two-minute rounds of professional boxing. Again, we find ourselves in the women's featherweight division. Your referee in charge, in charge of the Ken Butler. This bound is being brought to you by Rocky, Rocky Mountain. Granite, marble, and tiles, specializing in mortar installations. Once again, that's Rocky Mountain, Rocky Mountain Tile. Introducing first, fighting out of the, the red corner. She sports the blue trunks trimmed in white. Now she stands five foot seven and weighed in at weighed in at 100 pounds. Her record reads one victory with six defeats. Feats. From Little Rock, Arkansas, here is Carrie the Rage Hill. Hill. And her opponent standing across the ring, across the ring too much. Now she is wearing the black trunks trimmed in gold. She stands five foot two and weighed in tonight at 117 pounds. Her record needs two victories with one defeat. From Boise, Idaho, sponsored by Asper Spray, here is Beth the Knockout Westover. Westover. Your referee again with the instructions for this contest, Ken Butler. Here's a look at the tail of the tape. You can see that she gives up five inches, and Beth is also three pounds lighter. You see the record, the rage against the knockout. Here's your officials for tonight from Boise, Ed Cardoza and Mark Snow and Mike Vesto out of the Pocatello area. Your referee, Ken Butler. And you may notice as 